Hello and welcome to this fifth video in the introductory course for Animation Paper, a simple and powerful tool for creating hand-drawn animation on PC and Mac. In this video, we're going to be discussing some of the special features of Animation Paper, such as copying and pasting cycles, playback ranges, zooming in on the canvas numerically, the use of grids, linking layers, and taking drawings what we call off pegs. Also, since Animation Paper is still in alpha, we're going to be discussing some of the features that are to come in future versions. Here I have the chicken and pepper animation that was previously shown in the last video. And also in the last video, we discussed a little bit about the copy and paste functions that will allow you to have clones uh, sort of remotely in different parts of the timeline that all correspond to one single drawing. You can apply that same technique to multiple drawings and create a cycle. In my timeline, I'm going to scrub down to frame number 437. Oh, almost there, and there we go. This in the following drawing, you can see him sort of kind of trying to chug down a bunch of dirt to uh, quench this problem he's got with the hotness of the pepper that he ate. And I'm going to use these drawings and their clones to make a cycle. So selecting that drawing, and shift select the entire set of drawings. I'm going to come up here to edit, copy selected drawings or controller command C and paste them right here using control or command V. And now we have these sort of off colored clones which are the copies of the original drawings. So we have this key drawing here and here we have that cycle of him chugging that dirt down. So this scene is over 500 frames long. Now suppose I wanted to just see a small section of that and play it over and over again. What I can do is set a playback range. By pressing the home key I can return to the first frame. And down here at the bottom right below the scrubbing part of the timeline with this uh, little button that I can scroll with, there is a bar. And if I scoot this edge of the bar over, I can go to uh, about, say, frame 81. And if you notice, the, the numbers here on the sides are larger and bold. And that indicates now you've selected a range for playback. In the X sheet also, if you scrub down in the X sheet, you'll find that now it only goes to 81 frames. It is made the X sheet a little bit smaller to contain that range. So I'm going to just go ahead and play that back. This is the one that I want to look at over and over again to see if it's working properly. And I can expand the range. I can change it to its so it's not the first frame anymore. And I can play that back. And it'll just loop and loop and loop and loop in that playback range. If I want to reset my range completely, I can just push Control Home and it will set the start of my range to the first frame. And Control or Command End resets the range back to its last frame. Another helpful feature in Animation Paper is that I can zoom in on my canvas numerically. So if I come up here to the light table and I go to Zoom View, there is a list of various commands that I can use to zoom to certain percentages. If I just wanted to zoom in and out, I can push a control or command and plus. If I wanted to zoom out, I can push control or command and minus. If I push control or command and one key, then it'll go to 100% and so on and so forth. And gives you an opportunity to be able to zoom into consistent levels. Coming further down in the light table menu, there is this grid on and off function. Most people in animation, they use grids for various different reasons. I'm gonna turn that grid on. This is a traditional animation field chart used to plot and plan out your camera moves. I'm just going to fit to view so you can see a little bit better by pushing Control or Command Zero. By pressing keyboard shortcut G, I can turn the grids on and off. And if I push keyboard shortcut Shift G, then I can cycle through the various field charts. This chart, for instance, shows action and title safe. This is the thirds chart, helpful for planning out shots according to the rule of thirds. This is the Diagonals Guide, followed by the Renaissance Guide. All these guides have various uses for your animation. 
for planning purposes, for design purposes, and finding good spots in your canvas where you can orchestrate your motion. I'm going to push G to turn that off. Then coming over to the X sheet, we also have this feature called linking layers. If you notice, in this little part of the X sheet, there is a linked button. I'm going to unlink that, and I'm going to link these two together. This layer with the red ink only has two drawings, one as a full pepper plant, and the second one as a pepper plant that has one bite out of it. Now if I add a drawing here, it'll also add a drawing on the linked layer. So that way these drawings here, the ones where I need this to be absolutely synced, will stay synced. A very special feature in animation paper is also the ability to take drawings, quote, off the pegs. There's a thing called shift and trace in between that is very helpful in difficult in between tasks. Traditionally what that is is you take the drawings off the actual physical pegs from traditional animation with paper that had holes punched in it to keep the registration of the pages. So in this function, I'm going to go down to uh, frame 348 where we have this chicken running away and we have two drawings here that I'm going to take off the pegs and do a small in-between on. So in this case, I'm going to go over here to this drawing and hold down Control and Alt to take it off its pegs. Turning on the light table, I now can see where I need to put it. So I'm going to hold the Control and Alt keys again, and I'm going to put it right over the one that I have. So I can get a really nice clean in-between. Using the off pegs with the shift and trace method of in-betweening can help you get some rather difficult in-betweens a little bit more manageable. Okay, that's good. So I'm going to go right here to this drawing. This one, see, it remains off the pegs. So I'm going to convert that one into an original for in-between purposes. And I'm going to clear it. So now I have a good blank frame from which I can in-between. Just do some of the fine work where you can see right in the middle. Now, just to be quick on time, we're going to fade over to the finished drawing. Going back to that drawing that I took off the pegs, I'm going to hold down Control and Alt again. And now this button at the bottom of the Move uh, tool, I'm going to click on that to place it back on the pegs in its proper registration. After which, I'm going to go up to this drawing, hold down Keyboard Shortcut A, and I'm just going to move that into its place. and stamp. I'm going to push shift and space to turn off the light table and I'm going to go through those frames. So the wings beat down and he takes off. It's important to note that you can take more than one drawing off pegs at a time. Going to the previous drawing that was taken off pegs, I'm going to take that off again by pushing control and alt and then moving this. And I can take the other keyframe that I was using, push Control and Alt, move that forward. I'm going to turn on the light table so I can see. Holding down Control and Alt, I'm going to move that into position. So this in between could have been done at the position that it would eventually be at on the screen. And if I wanted to, I could go up here, take this off pegs. Come up here, take that off pegs, and you can see all of them have this green tint to them to mark them as off peg drawings. And I'm just going to go ahead and reset those back, putting them back on their pegs, and back to normal. And just for funsies, we're going to send the chicken back off screen again. Animation Paper already has a fantastic tool set to get you started animating quickly. However, it is still in its alpha stage, so there's more great features to come. Coming with subsequent versions of Animation Paper will be color tools, audio import playback and scrubbing, annotations in the X sheet, 
export of X sheet timing data in XML format, customizable toolbar and speed dials, as well as other already planned features that are shown grayed out in the current menus. And of course, bug fixes, improvements, and speed optimizations. Animation Paper is a simple, powerful tool for creating hand-drawn animation, and I hope this brief overview has been helpful in getting you familiar with the tools and features of the software to get you up to speed and animating quickly. Thanks for watching.